they had no right to kill my son, no right whatsoever. Please, someone, please come forward. Please, please call Crime Stoppers so they can get this person off the street or person. Please, thank you. Let the mothers, fathers, sisters, and brothers find closure to the pain and suffering from the loss or injury of their loved ones. Crime Stoppers of Michigan is an independent nonprofit organization that firmly believes in creating safe neighborhoods and keeping them that way. We do this by empowering citizens to help with the fight against crime. If you know anything about a serious crime, call Crime Stoppers today. All calls are absolutely anonymous. The CEO of Crime Stoppers have gone to so many, many press conferences with grieving families, at least two every week. Every single person who was murdered has and had a meaningful life. Some held promise, more promise than others, but the loss of that life is felt by their family every single day. I'm making an urgent plea to the community, to Cortez friends, to all those who knew Cortez, knew him as a warm, loving, kind, gentle, compassionate individual, ready to come to the aid of a friend as well as strangers. I'm saying to you, this could have been your son. This could have been your brother. This could have been your grandson. Please come and call Crime Stoppers so that we can put an end to this horrendous violence that has taken the life of my son. If the crime is solved, if someone is caught that is responsible for the crime, or weapons or drugs are confiscated because of your tip, you are eligible for a reward. The reward amounts can range from $50 to tens of thousands of dollars for larger unsolved crimes where the family has contributed to the reward. In the early morning hours of February 18, 2008, someone entered the Webster Elementary School courtyard and started an arson fire. The fire destroyed the school and displaced over 350 children. 100 of these students are developmentally disabled with special needs. The school is located in the 37,000 block of Linden near Newburgh Road in Livonia. Crime Stoppers really works. Take the case of John Pippen as an example. John Pippen was found murdered on Tuesday, January 24, 2012 on Detroit's east side. The incident took place at 3.45 a.m. on the 5,000 block of East Outer Drive near Connor Street. A man by the name of Anthony Jones is a person of interest. On April 25th, Crime Stoppers called a press conference. In attendance were John Pippen's family, including his young son. Shortly after airing, an anonymous tip was taken and Anthony Jones was found and arrested. I'd just like to say that Lonnie's put the orders on three doors that I had. Lonnie's leaves a daughter is going to be asking questions. I just want, if anybody have any, any answers, please just come forward and tell us what just you really need to know. I just need some closure and if anybody have any, any answers, please, please just come forward. Please. Someone that did this, 
or people. Yeah. Could be more than one. But, you know, I miss her every day. And people don't realize you took a sister, a daughter, a granddaughter, a niece away from our family. We don't get no phone calls anymore. Holidays are hard, birthdays. Just imagine if this was your child, your sister, your granddaughter, and you don't get those calls anymore just to say hi. I love you, I miss you. We don't get those. And we took her away very selfishly. And she was young, she was 29. She shouldn't have been taken away so soon. I'm supposed to grow old with my sister, not bury her 